I was just replacing the tire on my track bike. I had a burnt out Vittoria Randonneur. Time to upgrade. My personal favorite for track bike tires since way back in the day, Specialized Armadillo. I like how thick they are and I like how hard the rubber is. They slide a lot more than the Randonneurs. The Randonneurs are really grippy and I think they wear out a little quicker. But when I was tearing this tire apart, I found this cool note in the rim tape of the wheel and it says, built by Ellie Lum, 52108. How fucking cool is that? Ellie just got into building wheels at one point in 2008. She said she liked the balance of it. Uh, maybe first I should apologize for my hair. I just... Uh, I got my hands on these Villier monocoque bars and I think uh, this is the perfect combo for the Colossi. I'm just saying the colors, look at, it's just... It's gonna be so sick. And I think it's gonna make the bike weigh even less, which I don't totally care about, but it's kind of neat. So whatever, let's just see if these work. Eh. Bloody hell, it worked, perfect. Hey, but first, should we find the pick a winner for the shoe thing? Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's find a random comment picker. Well, there you have it. Congratulations, Tev Mullins from Missouri, who wants the Giro Republic. By the time you see this, you may already have your shoes in hand. Thank you everybody who contributed to the shoe shout out breakdown thing about what's it. We'll do more giveaways, so hold tight on that. Thank you for playing and congratulations, Tev. Hey humans, welcome to the Magic Wolf Radio Party. All right, we got a city mission today. We're gonna go pick up some rubber from the top secret warehousing facility for Ultra Dynamico, which happens to be in Portland, Oregon. Figured I'd ride the track bike, the Colossi. It's scandium. It has H sun rims, lace to profile hubs, carbon fiber monocoque, Villier Triestina handlebars, campy record cranks, MKS Sylvan touring pedals, because I got big feet. I don't think there's anything else on these kind of bikes. <laughs> I gotta drop off a little nail first. I hope I installed these handlebars correct. That seems fine. <laughs> Not used to this. I think I'm gonna be sore in the morning. <laughs> All right, Patrick, I just got some Kush cores for the Villier, the 650Bs. What kind of tires do I need? I got you set up with these Rose Robustos. They're gonna run the best with these. A lot of sidewall protection, you'll be able to run those things super low. It's gonna be good. Perfect, and black for the win. Hey, Patrick, tell me about your product segmentation. 700 tire, it's our gray label. This is our race casing. It's our lightest, fastest casing. It's got the circle. This is our green label, it's our 650. It's got this diamond in the middle, toughest metal. So it's our toughest casing, our Robusto casing. The label for the JFF, it's our triangle, just for fun. Just have a good time. Later, bud. Ow! Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man, I'm so stoked on these tires. Not to mention, it is another beautiful day. Counting blessings, wow. Portland's crazy. See the little, there's a little blue dot up there by the red bicycle sign. That means that the sensor knows that there's a bike there. How courteous is that? Looks like the Nike Town bikes went to full electric. I want to try one. Oh man, I'm so excited about these tires. And pair them up with a Kush core. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Shout out to Ultra Dynamico. Keep your eyes peeled. They've got a lot of good stuff coming. So maybe I'll even let you know when it happens. All right, onto the Kush core. 
All right, the time has arrived. We are going to lace up these brand new Ultra Dynamico Rose Robusto Casing 650B by 47.98 to a brand new set of Kush Core, Kush Cores, Cores, inserts. I'm so excited to try this. I can't wait to run my tire pressure way too low and not have any consequence to it. It's gonna be so great. It's gonna be like taking a tab of acid and seeing the belly button of God. So let's get into it. Where's the mic? So this is what all the hype is about, huh? It's just a foam inserty sort of a, okay, I'm open to it. I'm definitely a little sad to see the gray tires go, but all things come to an end. And I just think this black is gonna look so good because there's already black, it's just, it, okay. Oh man, there's still sealant in this. You think I can save it? When messing with tires, make sure to have the appropriate tire attire. Wait. How do I save this? Or empty this? I actually really want to save this though. Smear this around, pretend like we're cleaning it. Hang tight here, let's see. Hey, there you go. Cushed to the core. Oh no, okay. Whoa. Okay. Today, we're going to show you how to install Cush Core in your mountain bike tires. How to install Cush Core in your mountain bike tires. One part learning curve, one part knowledge. So these guys are a little tricky to set up, but not impossible, even if it feels impossible. Tubi booster for the win. Fuck yeah, this thing rules. Okay, second one is on. Definitely faster than the first one. These are tricky, that's for sure. But the hope is, is it's gonna be so worth it that We'll never remember how hard it was to put these on. Let's do a quick shakedown ride in the morning where it's light, and we'll see what this cush is all about. Cause I'm dying, I'm locked in now. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. This is what we're running. Real quick, I gotta give it quick. International Players Club, steal is real shout out to the two true players in Toronto, David and Madeline. What up, players? Madeline's last name is Bonk. How cool is that? True story. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button. Maybe it's time to subscribe and check out the Everything's Been Done gear shop. From torso covers to foot mittens, we've got you covered. Until next time, my friend, Dustin Klein, signing off. Mm, mm, mm.